Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a model in Edge TX 2.8 with three clicks. Edge TX is a very competent firmware for these radios, and it's got a lot of features. Sometimes it takes a little while to get used to all the different things you can do on the radio. What I like to do is just show you how simple it is to create a model on Edge TX 2.8. Fair warning though, I'm running Edge TX 2.8 Release Candidate 3. That means the final version of 2.8 is not yet out, and in order for you to see what I'm seeing, you'll have to flash a version of 2.8. Wouldn't recommend doing that on a production radio just yet. Wait for the developers to finish 2.8, and when it drops, go ahead and install it, and you'll have the same exact functionality you're about to see. I told you on Edge TX 2.8, you can create a model in three clicks, so let's count them out. From the main screen, you can long press the model button and that'll bring up the model selector. So here's click number one. This brings up the model selector. The next button we'll click is new model. That's right here. That's click number two. And then we're brought to the template selection screen. I'll just click on blank model. That's click number three. We now have a new model and I'm going to show you by clicking on the model button and navigating over to the input screen. And you can see we've got four inputs to find, aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. Next, I'll click on the mixer, and you can see we've got four mixes defined. There's channel one, two, three, and four with aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. Next up are the outputs. There are no labels assigned by default. We use the stock channels one through four. And when I move the aileron stick, you can see I have movement on the output for the aileron going left and right. Keep in mind, because I don't have it bound to a receiver, there's no signal actually leaving the radio. But if I did have a bind, this output line indicates what would be being sent from the transmitter to the receiver. So there's aileron, here's elevator, here's throttle over here, and there's rudder. Since we're talking about model setup, there's one other thing I'd like to explain because I do see a lot of questions on this subject, and that's the default channel order. So you get to the default channel order by pressing the system button and then the gear icon, and then you can scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you see this default channel order. Right now, I have mine set on AETR, that's aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. It's only set that way because that's the way I started when I first got into flying, and that's the order that I like to use. But if you change that default channel order to something else, like say T-A-R-E, what happens when you create a model is it changes that default order. So remember, if you look at my inputs example from the model we just made, I have A-E-T-R. I'm going to create a new model real quick by long pressing the model button and then clicking new model and then blank model. And you can see when I click on the model button again and go to the inputs line, we've rearranged the default channel order from AETR, which is what I use, to T-A-R-E. I produce a lot of videos on Edge TX, and as such, I see questions around the model creation wizard quite often. My suggestion to you is just get rid of it. This demo showed you just how easy it is to create a model with three clicks. In my opinion, the model creation wizard I understand the nature of it. It's to make it accessible and make it GUI based so people can easily understand the process of creating the model. But trust me when I tell you, it's real simple just to ignore that and use the built in model creation function in Edge TX. It'll literally make your model in three clicks. I hope you found the video informative. And if you did, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.